Oh, you certainly are. I'm going to show using red, white enamel how to decorate on top of your white velvet when you've etched it out. I've not got much done on here, but it will do just to show you as an example. I'm using, simply because I think it's the best, is Faye Goods Premix Dresden White Enamel, which you just thin with a little touch of turps if it needs it. It is pre-mixed and nice and creamy, um, but you may need a drop of turps just to make it. So can I just ask you one question? Yes. Um, if, you, if you do that now, you then fire it and you can put the mummy pearl on the top yes. of everything? Yes. Okay. And that's why I do it, because you can mother of pearl and first put white velvet on top and etch back through that way as well. But by doing it this way, it enhances the enamel as well mm. and gives it a really nice, uh, as well as a nice shine. It also sort of influences the colour slightly as well. So I'm going to use a very fine brush to do it. And this was one from Chris Helds, very fine, I think it's a 6 naught. And that one is a very fine brush, it's very similar, but comes as part of a multi-tool. Uh, so either of that kind, but you want really, really very fine. And that's a bit quite springy. It's actually synthetic, but it works very well. So I've got some white enamel. I'm going to put a tiny drop of turps. I'll just move that. And I'll put it there so I don't flood it. And just bring a little tiny touch just to make it slightly more. It's probably not too bad as it is, but... Just loosen it slightly. Now, as regards enhancing, um, we can twirl the brush in a little bit so that you can pick it up and you can drape it down the centre and put in some leaf markings. That's one way of decorating a little. Also to brighten up. Instead of going around the whole leaf, just literally, again, pick it up quite loosely and place it and drape it around just the tips so it enhances the leaf. And really, it's a case of decorating a little bit where you fancy. Not everywhere, not too much, just enough, really, to brighten it up. And that helps to catch the light so and if it doesn't go very pointed on the end just turn it round and just give a little tweak of enamel here and there another way to brighten up as well to enhance would be to perhaps put some swirls curly cues whatever works well that didn't go very well in fact that was a rather rubbish so I'm going to improve that a little bit. So, all the leaves, I would just do that. And nothing too fancy. Until you work right round. As regards flowers, a simple knot in the middle. And don't cover up all that you've just scratched out or else you're defeating the object because the idea is to allow the mother of pearl to twinkle through so maybe just some little touches here and there just to enhance the flowers and do it round the outside I'm doing it a, little, a bit too quickly really but at least you can see what I mean and then add a few more dots here and there and if I had large areas that I felt had too much white area I would place some raised dots here and there to help catch the light. So I would work through the design until I put as much as I felt looked good, basically. So that's really enough around that area. Now, Jackie, I know that that um, white velvet when you fire it will go white it will which but makes it, it difficult to work on yeah but it's it's rather a pretty color if you wanted it pink um would you 
Could you tint it? Would you tint it? There's nothing to stop you tinting it at all. Um, but I'll keep it very pale, very pretty, very light. Not it, it would go too dark and I don't think it would look good. If you had a dark surface underneath, maybe like a dark blue luster. Yeah, because you, you've done... On this one, yes, I've done... Um, this is lilac luster underneath first because this has started out as a playing about a little bit wiping simple things out in the middle with lavender luster and cotton bud um, fired it and then I've put white velvet over the top and etched back and then I've fired it again and then I've put mother of pearl over it it has been also trimmed with enamel and I've put the enamel on before I've fired it so that I can see where it's being placed. It just makes it easier. Mm, if you make a mistake, pretty. obviously that could lead to problems, but you can usually cover it up or very gently remove it carefully, just with a bit of turps. As long as you don't use water, it won't disturb it. Um, but it looks quite pretty on a pretty. surface or something like that. Now, if the luster was slightly darker, it would have showed up even more. Mm. But really, I probably wouldn't bother tinting it unless I was doing... Um, a dark surface possibly where I wanted to say do lilac and purples that might look rather nice on there but uh, really um, and it, you just keep going and enhancing around until you feel happy that you've got something that's going to really catch the light so that when that's fired you just go the whole lot with mother of pearl and it really does 